In this video, I am going to talk about uh, the scenarios under which you as an industrial and commercial customer can avail rooftop solar solution under the OPEX model if your facility is on lease or on rental. Hi, my name is Gaurav Kavadra. I am the director at Infinia Solar. Uh, a week before, I was uh, negotiating a PPA with the electronics company having facilities, two facilities in uh, Uttarakhand and they said Gaurav our facility is on 10 years lease and uh, can we avail a rooftop solar solution if our facility is on, uh, is on lease and if yes how we can do that. Can you help us uh, do that? So uh, I explained in the scenarios how we can avail the rooftop solar solution under the lease model. So I thought, I thought of creating this video so that you as a commercial and industrial customer keep check of these uh, these three tips or three scenarios under which you would be eligible to take rooftop solar solution under the OPEX model. So before getting into this uh, these scenarios, uh, let me explain you that uh, these uh, OPEX solution uh, is actually a long term contract uh, wherein you know a developer offers you a tariff for for a longer term, let's say 15, 20, 25 years, and then developer goes for financing of this contract with the lender, and then lender looks for certainty of the cash flows while financing these contracts. Hence, the following uh, checks are 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 done by the lender and also by the developer to ensure that. Uh, the rooftop solution, solar solution uh, under the lease, uh, if the premises is on, is on lease or on rental, following checks are important. So first, that your lease period or the rental period should be of the long term in nature. Let's say ideally it should be minimum like 9, 10 years kind of lease, not like short term lease of 2-3 years. If that is the case, then the developers and the lenders both don't, doesn't, don't get comfort on the uh, long term availability of, uh, of of lease with you and then ensures that the cash flows uh, that lenders would get that cash flows for a longer period of time. Second important thing uh, that the uh, electricity meter which is installed in your premises should be on the name of, uh, of the industrial customer not on the uh, name of the lesser. Uh, it should be name of the lessee because uh, all the approvals in terms of uh, net metering or if you are going for an open access solution then long term open access should be on the name of uh, on, the, on the lessee and also since the developer will give you will be providing this you this model under the OPEX solution so they will be doing a credit check of uh, of you as an industrial customer so it is mandatory that electricity meter should be on your name Third important uh, requirement is that uh, NOC, which is no objection certificate from the owner of the property, would be required uh, for the project tenure. So, uh, just to summarize, there are three important requirements: that the lease should be longer term, nine or ten years. Second, uh, the electricity meter, which is the electricity connection, should be on the name of uh, the industrial customer, which is you. And third, that um, the no objection certificate from the uh, owner of the property would be required. I hope you found value in this video. Um, if you found value and like this video, uh, please do share your comments in the comments box. Look forward to see you in my next video. Thank you.